Hey, I love that song. I haven't heard that song for 47 years. Uh, thank you, Spotify. Awesome. Um, right, today we've got a giveaway for the, uh, the cloud donuts that suits the backfire and the XY fingers will be in the description field. Um, big shout out to Yuri and the team at Cloud Wheels. I can't thank you enough for letting me give away this uh, set of beautiful um, 105, 105 uh cloud donuts as i said that'll fit those boards uh congrats well uh hopefully uh you'll win um good luck to all the entries there's only 15 entries in the contest so we're going to put uh, on the draw uh first of all thank you for welcoming me back again it's been a while i know i've been extremely busy doing a lot of projects a lot of stuff happening okay if you're new to the channel uh and you haven't seen what i do or what i'm about I do electric skateboard reviews, I do mod modifications, I do uh, hacks, I also performance test, uh, pro ride these things, uh, give them uh, my unbiased, honest opinion, but I will say that I hand pick these boards so I do know what I'm doing beforehand, so generally they rate pretty high, uh, and that's what I'm doing uh, up till now, but moving forward, what I'll be doing now is uh, the content will be coming through a little bit less frequent, um, not once a week, but once every two weeks, two and a half weeks, at least twice a month. Uh, also do an update on what's happening at the end of the month, which I'll do today. Um, but I'm gonna be handpicking boards that I would actually buy, that will I do buy, and the ones that I actually do ride. So rather than go through all the unboxing of the general Chinese stuff, I'll leave that to the other YouTubers. I've done that for three or four years, I mean four or five years. But so I don't wanna continue doing that. I think it's more important to find a one-stop shop channel that gets you the best boards in their class, or the gold nuggets, or the ones I find that are real diamonds in the rough that I actually buy, uh, and the ones that I can highly recommend is from a performance rider perspective. So that's what we're doing on this channel now. It's a one-stop shop. You don't go through all the, the fray, you just come straight to the best boards, and the cream comes to the top, and you'll get the best boards on this channel. That's what we're doing. We've got aerial drone, my drone going on. We've got a lot of stuff happening. New boards coming. I'll talk about that in a little while, in a minute, about what's coming on the channel. Uh, so thank you so much for supporting everything and being there and continuing the love. I really appreciate it. Um, so now, uh, let me just talk a bit about the uh, the future of the channel. I've got a lot of projects coming, documentaries, electric skateboard, uh, history ones. I've got my vintage skateboard collection you saw the trailer, it's coming up with a brief history of skateboarding in that, which will be a 15, 80 minute video. That's not the history of skateboarding that's coming up. I'm also gonna be loading up uh, my Berlin video uh, of my trip uh, two years ago, 18 months ago, where I met Frankie Sommer, an awesome guy uh, who got me into electric skateboarding. He was riding homemade boards back in 2006, seven on the, the river in Berlin. I saw that video way before, six years before Boosted TED Talk or five years, uh, eight years before Evolve. Um, and he was instrumental in me getting into electric skateboarding. So that interview was pretty, pretty epic with two of the godfathers of the industry, but both 60, um, talking about electric skateboarding, etc. And that will be on the Berlin video upload next week. I'll load some better music that won't get caught with copyright. Uh, so that's coming up. We've also got some boards coming up as well, but I'll talk about those in a second. So hang in there. Let's give this away. So, uh, yeah, today I'm going to give away the wheels. Now I'm going to do it not live, but I'm going to do it um, on my phone now. I'm going to set it all up and do it one complete um, shot at this. So. Uh, you can see it's one take, so I haven't did anything dodgy or sketchy. It'll be one button push, the winner will win the, the wheels. 199, 200 AU worth of wheels here, Australian dollars, 200 bucks worth. So good luck with the, the, the contest for that. Let me just talk about cloud wheels for a moment. Uh, I've been riding electric skateboards for a very long time, uh, longer than anybody. Um, and I've uh, come across this cloud wheel uh, it's pretty much an unbox, and then I realized that these things perform, they work well. Now, if you're over 125 kilograms, you're a big rider, maybe the cloud wheel is not the option for you because uh, it just they're just not as forgiving on heavy, heavy riders. You're both an all-terrain pneumatic tire, 100% better uh, better effect uh, on, on performance and for your weight. If you're under, say, 120 kilograms, give these a go. If you haven't ridden them before, I thoroughly recommend give them a go. I was dubious, a non-Western company, uh, Chinese making a, a urethane wheel, would it work? So let's just talk about what happened to me last week, and it's paramount in this testimony I'm gonna tell you right now, which blew my mind. 
I've got the 107 ABEC uh, fluoro greens um, flywheels from uh, 107 ABEX. I took them out on my Evolve 1 limited edition. It's a beautiful board, super torquey. Uh, I keep, keep it as a collector's board. Um, it's got the 107's ABEC, as I said, flywheels. They're nice and flat, they're nice and fat. They haven't got chips in them. They're actually perfect condition because that fluoro green mixture was pretty damn good. It didn't chip like the black. I took it out on the Collaroy Basin area, super smooth streets, uh, and went out for a carve on that board. Now, what blew my mind was I haven't ridden that board for about six to eight months. Been riding these things pretty much all the time. This is the first edition cloud wheels with a black core. They've now got the, obviously, the Discovery with the clear core, which has been greatly improved and a slightly different uh, fitting, so you need to get the right uh, gearing for that. Cut, cut a long story short, um, I went out for a ride. Now, because the, the edge on the, uh, the right angle edge on those 107 Abex sit on the road dead flat when you go to a corner they do flex and they do touch the road but there's more surface area pressure on the inside wheel when you're carving on your backhand and that they kind of lift on the inside wheel i found it super sketchy i found it a little bit slidey a little bit unsure of uh, whether it would hold me in certain heavy calves and i've been so spoiled by cloud wheels for that camber you can see is more a shape like that so when you corner well, the bottom of the wheel, when you corner like that, the whole side of that, that angle holds the wheel into the corner. And you're getting that perfect 100% even grip on that wheel the whole way into that corner. This is remarkably different to a flat, you know, obviously torque boards, uh, 110s, or anything with that standard flat wheel. There's no comparison in my mind, in my experience, in my riding, these outperform. If I want to really hit hard, really carve deep and really slide a bit, I'll choose these any day because these are 100% reliable and they work, they just work. Uh, you may not get the, a, lot of, a lot of wear as much as the 110s coming down or the 107 ABEX because uh, obviously you've only got about uh, eight mil there of urethane before it gets to the foam, but you know, you're know you gonna get better performance and better riding. So that was the incredible experience I had last week. I couldn't wait to get back on these. Uh, I probably won't be using that in a situation where I'm really carving heavily or I'm you know just cruising on those ABEC 107s. They're a great wheel, don't get me wrong, they're a great wheel, but yeah, they just don't perform like a cloud wheel. They certainly don't have the rebound either and the complete um, you know, so softening of that core with the foam. There's nothing that compares to that on the market and it's absolutely incredible. So well done to you and the team. Um, okay, so we're gonna go on now with the, with the actual uh, draw for the wheels. Uh, some lucky subscriber will win these. Um, I don't have a lot of giveaways on my channel. I'm sorry, I don't get a lot of stuff from the vendors as much as I like. I don't have any ads on my channel, no Patreon page, no money, no affiliation codes. I don't make any money. This is all just the passion I have to help people get the right boards and to find the best boards out there that only I would ride. Uh, so that's where we're at uh, in terms of um, you know, giveaways, I suppose. I will get some down the track. Sirens late at night, very interesting. Um, okay, let's go ahead and have a look at the, uh, the, the actual giveaway. Now I'm gonna give away right now. I'm gonna keep this as one complete take so you can see it's just one take. Um, so we're going to do that. Uh, yeah, if you want to watch the videos on the corner of the, uh, obviously the Donut one, um, 105s on the uh, WowGo night and on then the 120s on the uh, Team GH20, check out the videos in the corner here uh, and also the video in the corner here again on both those videos and how I did it. It's also a link in the description field how I put them on. Be very careful with the bolts. They can strip and you can damage your hub nut motor uh, screw uh, female um, you know, setup, so you be very careful with that. Um, let's give this away this, this drum roll now. Drum roll, let's go. Um, okay, uh, we're gonna go and do this. I'll come around with you in one take so you can see this. So, one second. Okay, here we have it. I'm using the, uh, the comment picker. I'll just make sure it's on there. Um, Oh, there we go. So we're going to use this one. Uh, now I'll put that link into the actual, um, where we, there we go, go back out of here. Right, so that's the actual, uh, 
I've taken duplicates out. Oh no, yeah, duplicates out, including comments from individuals. Let's get the comments. So let's have a look here. Right. Bang, 15 comments, right? There you go. Yeah, okay. So let's go through now and um, push the draw. Are you ready? Fingers crossed. Uh, good luck, everybody. Here are the names. Here they are. Here they are. Your name will be coming through. Craig Taylor. <laughs> Craig's won the wheels. Congratulations, Craig. Now, uh, Craig actually is the top guy. And we'll talk about Craig's uh, channel in a minute when I talk about what I'm doing next week in terms of my big reveal review of a game-changing board. Um, with the uh, Red Bull uh, Europe team there. Thanks to Red Bull too. A big shout out to you guys for the upcoming collab and all your support. I can't thank you enough for that and your goodie uh, sent over for me. Um, there you go. So sorry for anyone who's entered the contest who didn't win. So yeah, Craig Taylor is the winner of the uh, of the Cloud Wheels 105. So congratulations. I'll send them down to Melbourne. I know you're down in Melbourne. We'll get that down to ASAP. Okay, so moving right along. Um, what's happening next week is really, really important. I had a meeting with Transite last week um, and had a chat with them uh, regarding um, the new boards that are coming out. Eduardo is quite an exceptional uh, electric skateboard builder and designer uh, coming out of Sydney. Uh, Australian made product, assembled in Australia, 100% great quality. Now you may have seen in the corner here, you've got uh, Craig GPT video uh, on his YouTube channel. A big shout to Craig, he's doing amazing stuff. Sorry, that side. Uh, on his uh, channel with uh, reviewing the cross country, transites, bar hard boards. Uh, Craig's got a great channel. Subscribe to his channel. He's a really nice guy and he really is 100% committed to uh, getting the best product and content and unbiased reviews out. So check out that channel there. And he is also uh, test road the new board I'm talking about in a minute. Also check out uh, Zach. Uh, his channel in the corner here, and Zach's got an amazing channel. He's a Port Macquarie guy, Aussie, great rider, cutting edge, full on rad stuff. And big shout to Zach, that's an amazing um, a channel. And he's also pre tested the beta version of this board in the smaller battery pack. Both the guys have got to test that. Uh, Eduardo wants me to release the official release of the board um, for the worldwide uh, a release on pre order. Uh, and what is it? Well, it's a Transite Roadster. Now, I, can't, I won't show you too many photos. Well, actually, I'll show you one now, a couple now you can see. There it is. This is a revolutionary new design in terms of what it's doing. What it's incorporating is pneumatic tires on a direct drive system, and not just two rear direct drive, but four wheel drive. But you need that four wheel drive to turn that one to one ratio on a pneumatic tire, especially the eight inch and the six inch. So. I have not seen this done before. I know Carve Labs in the States have had direct drive. A lot of companies have had direct drive and done a lot of work with uh, advancement in that. I was skeptical on the ratio of a one-to-one -one, uh, turning, um, you know, obviously gearing for a big tire like a pneumatic tire. But after testing the other day, it is exceptional. And because it's four wheels, you get away with that one-to-one -one ratio on a big pneumatic tire. So what we're looking at is a direct drive silent propulsion on the most incredible, uh, you know, well-designed and you make tire, which will give you all the benefits of a belt drive uh, with the silent propulsion and super, super, uber powerful. Now I can tell you now, I wrote it the other day, uh, some photos of me writing it on Instagram, Eduardo's loaded up. I couldn't get to the end of the throttle cycle. I couldn't get to the end before I had to back off. There's just no way it stops. It keeps pulling away. It's the most powerful electric scoper I've ridden, um, probably apart from the four wheel drive planetary gearing Equil. It is super powerful, and but the smooth curve is really gentle going into it and braking, which you need to have on a four wheel drive system. Uh, not only that, it's got the dope grip, and it's got the laser cut uh, carbon fiber etching on the, on, the, on the top plates on the trucks. It's got all the extras, uh, plus there's something very special I'll be announcing on that video. Carbon is back, baby. <laughs> Sorry, Evolve. Um, yeah, so uh, Carbon is back, and I'll talk a bit about that on the Transite uh, release next week. The moment I unrelease that beast, <laughs> um, 
it, it goes live. Um, there's going to be pre-orders available to order that board, and I recommend you getting quick. Hit the notification bell because they'll be oversubscribed to the first batch, and if you don't get them, uh, you'll have to wait to the next batch, and these are going to be sought after. So it's a damn sexy board. It's powerful. It gives you everything you want, low maintenance, no belts, no adjustments, super powerful, great curve on a, uh, a vest controller, flip sky. It is so powerful. I'm 100 kilos and I couldn't even get out of second speed and full throttle. So if you are a hill climber, if you're a big guy, uh, if you want something with so, so much power and a pretty stylish looking board, I recommend without a doubt you go for the Transite Roadster four wheel drive uh, with the you know, a little uh, surprise coming on the carbon uh, fusion side of that. Um, so we've got that video coming up, possibly we've got a couple of things happening as well, uh, as well as a new carving board, street carbon, not electric from Quicksilver, the new Mark Richards Twin Fin, up against a Kmart uh, $69 street carver, uh, you know, uh, board. So we'll see, does money make a difference in branding? We'll find that out. So a lot more to come, plus we've got another awesome carbon fiber hub drive coming as well. So the, the coming through, not as frequent, but they are really good videos, still with the drones, still with great 60s, 70s, 80s, classic music, good feel, good carving of David Sawyer, the visionary guru. He has got a new 6K camera worth about 12 grand. He's gonna be filming me uh, on that and I'm carving better than ever. Uh, so it's gonna be some really cool stuff for you Northern Hemisphere guys that are really going into winter and snow and cold. Sit back in front of the fire, watch some of my Andrew Pim and Zulu production uh, movies coming up. And thank you for your support Thank you for continue subscribing and not unsubscribing. Thank you for uh, all your uh, love. I can't thank you enough. And I think we'll end off that video now uh, and get out there and um, get some more footage for you guys. So thanks for the unbox today um, of this product. I'm watching it and congratulations to the winner. Till then, happy skating, safe skating, keep carving, and we'll see you in the next video. Andrew Penman signing off.